Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see on the big screen there, the, our chief guest has just arrived on uh, the piece of land that has been offered by the government of Zanzibar to IIT Madras. A huge campus, a permanent one, is going to be built on that piece of land. And he's just about to uh, inaugurate, to, to, to launch... Uh, the, the piece of land uh, it's over 200 acres uh, not really far from where we are right now uh, and uh, after that uh, simple procedure he is gonna head back to where we are here uh, for the official launch so there you have it uh, that uh, is the that is the uh, inauguration of uh, the foundation stone uh, not far from here in uh, Fumba where this plan has been given by the government of Zanzibar and we're back so when uh, the president arrives here uh, he is going to go straight I think we're getting some audio from there and pictures we have pictures there you go Right, um, so that uh, is happening uh, at the Tumba. Uh, not far from here, the inauguration of uh, Foundation Stone for uh, the brand, uh, well, the, the, the premises for uh, the campus will be built in the near future. And now uh, it looks like they are actually heading back here. And when they do get here, they're going to go straight to uh, another Foundation Stone where our chief guest will do the inauguration. Uh, and then he is going to walk into the room and I would kindly ask um, dis uh, dis distinguished guests in this room to stand up when he walks in uh, and then we will take our seats once he is sat down. The trip from uh, the piece of land to where we are should take approximately five minutes. They're just about to leave and head back we uh getting live pictures from uh where they are he's just about to leave like i said and they should be here in any moment from now and like i said just a gentle reminder that once uh our chief guest walks into the tent uh kindly ask everybody in here to stand up and give him a very warm welcome this this is such a milestone not only for zanzibar but for tanzania as well and of course the whole continent of africa this is this is significant this is massive i uh, haven't seen anything like this before technology moving back home technically Rahatul Zaman, the father, 
que que vos Mgeni wetu rasmi mabibi na mabwana mgeni wetu rasmi ndio anaingia hivi sasa na atakwenda moja kwa moja kwenye jiwe la msingi uh, kwa ajili ya kuzindua rasmi uh, chuo hiki halafu atarejea na kuingia katika ukumbi wetu huu na kama nilivyodokeza hapo awali tafadhali sana mara tu mgeni rasmi atakapoingia nitaomba sote tusimame uh, na kumpa makaribisho na atakapoketi sisi pia tutafanya video hivyo na mtukio lote la kuzindua uh, jiwe la msingi litaonekana moja kwa moja kupitia uh, screen yetu ambayo iko upande wetu wa uh, kuume hapa tulipokaa ladies and gentlemen and distinguished guests our chief guest has already arrived in the arrived in the premises here and soon after the inauguration of the foundation stone for the camp, uh, campus he will walk into this tent and as i uh, said earlier i would kindly ask uh, us all of us to stand up when he walks in and then we will we'll take our seats once he is sat down so he is uh, here uh, our chief guest his excellency the president of zanzibar and of course the chairman of the revolutionary council dr hussein mwinyi is here uh just to uh do the inauguration of uh the foundation stone of course rahal tool zaman
Check one two. Final test. Final test. Check check check. Final check. Test test.
microphone. vizuri sana Charles Martin Hillary Mkwanga Salam alaykum Hello salam alaykum Salam Habari za asubuhi eh, sasa niko vizuri eh. Jamani kuna jambo moja tu tukumbushane tujitahidi tuwe tunafuta message kwenye simu Tusije tukawaachia kilio kwenye msiba wale ambao wamefiwa
Mnavoona uh, uzinduzi rasmi sasa uh, wa kuweka lile jiwe la msingi ndio unafanyika sasa hivi na mheshimiwa mgeni wetu rasmi uh, atafanya tukio hilo la kihistoria kabisa maelezo mafupi kuhusiana na chuo hiki kabla ya kufanya uzinduzi rasmi nam uh, baada ya shughuli hiyo mgeni rasmi atakuja uh, hapa ndani ya tent hili nam 
Uzinduzi ndio huo rasmi kabisa umefanyika hapa wao. Tupige makofi. Makofi tafadhali na utepe utakatwa pale kuashiria uh, kwamba rasmi kabisa kampasi hii itakuwa imefunguliwa. any moment from now the official launch of the Zanzibar campus Uzinduzi rasmi utafanyika hapa atakapokata utepe tu tafadhali tupige makofi mara baada ya shughuli hiyo Makofi elekea huku tafadhali watakapoingia tu nitaomba sote tusimame kindly stand up when our chief guest as soon as he walks in and give him a very warm welcome sana Asante sana. Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi, uh, karibu sana na tafadhali naomba ukae. Na wageni ah, mgeni rasmi, karibu sana katika ukumbi huu na tafadhali kama unaangalia kwenye big screen utaniona nikikualika ukae ili tuweze kuanza shughuli yetu pamoja na wageni walikwa tafadhali namba 2 keti
Sante sana makofi tafadhali mgeni rasmi tafadhali sasa ukae na wageni wetu waalikwa Sante sana bendi ya polisi ya brass band uh, huo wimbo ambao umetoka kupigwa hivi sasa ni wimbo wa taifa wa India tumesikia nyimbo nne za taifa moja ukiwa wa kwanza ni wa Zanzibar uh, wa pili ukiwa na Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania na wimbo wa, taifa, wa tatu ulikuwa ni wa Afrika Mashariki na kama nilivyodokeza hapo wimbo nne ulikuwa ni wimbo wa taifa wa India Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi uh, rais wa Zanzibar na mwenyekiti wa baraza la mapinduzi Mheshimiwa first lady Maria Mwinyi speaker wa bunge la wawakilishi Mheshimiwa Zubair Ali Maulid Chief Justice Jaji Mkuu wa Zanzibar Mheshimiwa Hamis Ramadhani Abdullah Katibu Mkuu Kiongozi Engineer Zena Ahmed Said Mwenyeji wetu our host waziri wa elimu na mafunzo ya amali dada yangu Leila Muhammad Musa mkuu wa mkoa wa mjini Magrib Mheshimiwa Idrissa Mustafa Kitwana balozi wa India hapa Tanzania India High Commissioner to Tanzania Honorable Binaya Pradhan mawaziri wengine wote makatibu wakuu wa kurugenzi wa idara mbalimbali wakuu wa vyombo vya ulinzi na usalama wageni wengine waalikwa mabibi na mabwana pamoja na vijana wetu wadogo tutawaona baadaye bila kuwasahau waandishi wa habari karibuni sana katika siku hii ya kihistoria jina langu mimi ni Salim Kikeke ni mwandishi wa habari na mtangazaji na nitakuwa mshehereshaji hii leo and if you are using the headsets tafadhali number one is for english moja ni kiingereza na namba mbili ni kwa kiswahili number two is for swahili number one is for english this your excellency is an historic moment not only for zanzibar but for tanzania and africa as a whole now before we proceed we will begin with a very short prayer from Reverend Jumanne Lamek Simkoko tafadhali naomba uje utupe sala ya ufunguzi wakati huo huo Sheikh Abdul Samad na wewe ukae stand by kwa ajili ya dua na vile vile tutakuwa na Shri Advaita ambaye uh, atatupa dua karibu sana Reverend Tuombe Mungu wetu baba yetu Umesema kabla ya mambo yote dua ifanyike kwa ajili ya watu wote na shukulani pamoja na maombezi. E Mungu kwa neema yako tunakushukuru mno kwa ajili ya siku hii ya leo. Umetupa watoto wako nafasi hii na neema hii ya kutuweka hai ndio maana Mungu tunakushukuru. Sante kwa ajili e Mungu ya wana wako na watoto wako baba ambao umewainua kutoka sehemu mbalimbali na we Mungu umewaleta katikati ya eneo hili kwa ajili ya maendeleo ya serikali yetu ya mapinduzi ya Zanzibar tunamwombea rais wetu mheshimiwa daktari Ari Hussein Mwinyi ambao Mungu umempa nafasi ya kuibeba serikali nzima kiujumla na maono yake Mungu endelea kumjaria afya njema endelea kuwajaria walio nyuma yake pamoja na sekta zote ambao Mungu anaungana kwa ajili ya kueneza kazi yako iliyo njema Baba shughuli hii tunaiweka kwako kwa ajili ya kusudi lako na kwa ajili ya neema yako kila mmoja Mungu atakayesimama tumeharika uwepo wako tuanze na wewe kwa utukufu wa jina lako takatifu nami nikiomba kwa neema yako tuanze na wewe na tukamalize pamoja na wewe katika jina la Mungu Baba na la Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu amen Asante sana uh, Reverend Jimane Lamex mkoko tafadhali Sheikh Abdul Samad naye ajetupe dua uh, kabla ya kuendelea na shughuli zetu nyingine na Shri Advaita Kanli uh, be on standby. 
ya Rabbi tunakuomba kwa sifa zako utukufu na ufalme wako ulio enea mbinguni na ardhini utujalie busara hekima hususan kwa wale wa asisi wa taasisi yetu hii utie baraka kwa elimu zote ambazo zitafundishwa katika taasisi hii utujalie kila laheri tuepushie na kila lashari na tunakuomba ya Rabbi mjalie rais wetu wa Zanzibar Dr. Hussein Ali Mwinyi na mwenyekiti wa baraza la mapinduzi Usara, hekima na dhamira njema kwa Zanzibar hii na wa Zanzibari kwa jumla umwapushie kila lashari na mjalie kila laheri na kwa kila ajaye kwa shari wajua yake dhamiri ivunje yake dhamiri asiweze kusimama Allahumma rabbana taqabbal minna innaka antas samiul alim Kutub alayna ya maulana innaka antat tabrahim Rabbana zidna ilman warzukna fahman Rabbana zidna ilman warzukna fahman Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa qina adhab an-nar Sallallahu wa sallam wa barik ala Muhammadin nabiyil umiy wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Sana sana uh, Sheikh Abdul uh, Shri Advaita Oh here she is thank you वक्रतुंड महाकाय सूर्यकोटि सम प्रभा निर्विघ्न पुण्य देवा सर्व कार्यशु सर्वदा गजाननं भूत गणादि सेवितं कपित जन्मोपल सार भक्षतं उमासुतं शोक विनाशु कारणं नमामि विघ्नेश्वर पादकं गजं या कुंडेंदु तुषार हार धवलां या शुभ्र वस्त्राविता या ईना वरदंडमंडित करा या श्वेत पद्मासना या ब्रह्मा चकशंकर प्रदत्त बेद देवाय सदा वंदिता सामां पातु सरस्वती भगवती निशेष जाग्यापा शुक्लाम वरदरम विष्णुम शशिवन्नम चतुर्भुजम प्रसन्न वदनम जात सर्वेत्मो प्रशांते वरदीनाम रुद्रपानी वनतुहलोचनरानी सूर्योचिरपं Thank you very much. Really appreciate uh, Santa Sana. Hiyo uh, ilikuwa ni dua ya ufunguzi kutoka Hindu. Um, kabla ya kumwalika kaka yangu uh, Hamid Said hapa, uh, ni seme tu uh, sisi kama Afrika mvua inaponyesha. When it rains, it's a sign of prosperity. And uh, you want to see prosperity? You're looking at him right there, our president, Dr. Hussein Ali Mwenyi. Um, I forgot to introduce myself in Hindi, is it? So I would say Namaste, Meranam Salim, right? And that's it. All right. <laughs> so, Niwalike Katibu Mku wa Wizara Yetu Ya Elimu na Mafunzo Ya Amali, Nduguyangu Hami Said, Aje Kufanya Utambulisho Karibsan. Assalamu alaikum Abari asbui Mishmua raisu zanzibana mwenyekito mbaraza Mapinduzi Nimekua fursa ya kuatambulisha Viongozi mbali mbali Tachukua muda mchachi kuatambulisha viongozi Ambao mpunduria katika shuguli hii Ambao tumewalika Kwanza nitambue mwishmua uwepo Wa Wako we mwenye mwishmua raisu Pamoja na first lady mama maria mwinyi Asante sana 
lakini vile vile tukaona mheshimiwa waziri wa elimu na mafunzo ya amali mheshimiwa tunamhimili hapa tuna mwanasheria mkuu wa Zanzibar mheshimiwa tunaomba tu wasalimie wananchi wa kufahamu asante sana lakini vile vile tuna speaker wa baraza la wawakilishi mheshimiwa asante sana mheshimiwa vile vile tuko na mwakilishi wa waziri wa mambo ya nje wa Tanzania Asante sana tuko na katibu mkuu kiongozi na katibu wa baraza la mapinduzi engineer Zena Pretty mkurugenzi if you could just raise and wave hands to the colleagues here Pretty thank you so much Asante sana lakini pia tuko na mheshimiwa balozi wa India nchini Tanzania pamoja naye pia yuko balozi wa Rwanda hapa ndani Asante sana Mheshimiwa hapa kuna mawaziri mbali mbali wa serikali ya mapinduzi ya Zanzibar. Naomba tumsalimie mheshimiwa Rais, mawaziri wa serikali ya mapinduzi ya Zanzibar. Asante sana mheshimiwa Mazurui, mheshimiwa Gulam na wengine. Lakini mheshimiwa hapa vile vile kuna viongozi mbali mbali kutoka vyuo vikuu mbali mbali. Naomba wasimame kwa ujumla wake, Yudom, Suwa. Asante sana hivi ni vyuo vikuu vya Tanzania mheshimiwa lakini vile vile Open University na vyombo mbalimbali mheshimiwa pia hapa kuna taasisi za fedha ikiwemo PBZ tunaweza kusimama CRDB NMB ZSSF na taasisi zote za fedha ambao wamekuja kwenye shughuli hapa Professor Ikmani tunakushukuru sana mheshimiwa hapa tumewalika makatibu wakuu na viongozi walopita wizara ya elimu waheshimu na taadhima naomba tusimame Mwalimu Abdallah Mzee Asante sana Dr. Idrisa na Bibi Mariam. Mheshimiwa hapa vile vile tunawakilishi wa mashirika ya kimataifa UNICEF, USAID, nimeona Daniel uko pale na Dr. Masudi na Laura asanteni sana. Mheshimiwa tunatume vyuo vikuu vya Tanzania Professor Kihampa tunafanya kazi naye kwa karibu sana. Lakini vile vile kuna katibu mtendaji wa Nactivate. Asante sana katibu pamoja na katibu mtendaji wa baraza la mitihani la Tanzania Dr. Saidi Asante sana. Kuna mkurugenzi mtendaji wa bodi ya mikopo. Asante na mwenyekiti wa bodi ya mikopo ya Zanzibar. Tunashukuru sana mheshimiwa. Mheshimiwa kuna viongozi mbalimbali vya ulinzi na usalama kwa, kwa pamoja tunaomba tusimame tumsalimie mheshimiwa Rais. Asante sana. Lakini mheshimiwa pia kuna maprofesa. We have professor from Indian Institute of Technology if you could kindly raise and wave hand to the president. His Excellency, please. And the faculty member as well. Mwishimiwa, kazi hii haikuwa rahisi. Kuna steering committee ambao walifanya kazi zote ambao meziona hapa. Kipeke kabisa mwishimiwa naomba na kushukuru kwa kutupa melekezo. Na kutushauri kwa amba tunde kamati malumi ya osimamizi. Steering committee, could you please raise umsalimia Bagashi, Dr. Mwana, Hawa mwishimiwa ndo mefanya tukio hili kwa kaha. Otherwise, nge kwa ngumu sana leo kukikia hapa. Na kushukuru sana. Santeni sana tumeza kukaha. Mwishimiwa vile vile hapa tumewalika wazee wa mji. Na mwishimiwa waziri alizungumza nao kabla. Na mimi likuwepo. Wazee wa shehia hapa zote tusimame kwa pamoja tumisalimie mwishimiwa rais. Asanteni sana kwa ushirikiano wenu. Tumefurahi sana. Lakini mwishimiwa hapa kuna wakurugezi mbali mbali kutoka wizara ilimu na mafunzo ya mali na maafisa mbali mbali wa serikali naomba kwa pamoja tusimame tumsalimie mheshimiwa rais. Hii ndio timu wizara ya elimu na wenzetu wa wizara ya afya tumeshirikiana kwa pamoja na watu wengine wa serikali. Lakini vile vile kuna wanafunzi wetu umeonana nao kule lakini tukipendeza hapa kumsalimia rais. Students could you please raise and wave your hand to the president please. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. You can get seated now. Mheshimiwa vile vile na watambua viongozi wote wala ushiriki kwa njia moja au nyingine katika shughuli hii na governor mheshimiwa mkoa mkoa nataka nikumalizie umetumalizia sana ulinzi hapa mheshimiwa heshima yako kubwa tumefanya kazi na wewe na mheshimiwa mkuu wa wilaya hii mvua jua yasho tumehakikisha shughuli hii mheshimiwa tunakushukuru sana pamoja na vyombo vyako baada ya maelezo haya mheshimiwa anarejesha kwa MC kwa ajili ya na nimewasahau makatibu wakuu Samahanini sana makatibu wa kuwezani. Kama mnaweza kuraise, Dr. Abudu, unajua mwakilisha wengine, asanteni sana, asanteni sana, nashukuru sana.
Pakofi jamani kwa uh, katibu mkuu wizara Salum. ya elimu. Nimewasahau watu muhimu sana wa bunge na wawakilishi wa jimbo hili wapo. Na, na madiwani munisamee tu bure. Samaanini sana. Asanteni sana kwa ushirikiano wenu. Shukrani sana. Nashukuru sana uh, bwana Hamis uh, Said. Uh, I just wanted to say that uh, your excellency that today is an historic day uh, in terms of uh, sharing education and coming from a top university in India opening up a campus in Zanzibar. It's the 6th of November. It's a very special day. I'm sure the students will remember it for the rest of their lives and coincidentally it happens to be my birthday. Thank you. Mike, please call upon now Professor Anand, the former director of IIT Madras, uh, to come and uh, briefly uh, give us a brief. The, uh, Professor uh, Anand was the director of IIT Madras from 2001 to 2011, and during his tenure, he was instrumental in uh, starting the IIT Madras Research, Research Park, a national program on technology uh, enabled learning and currently it is the largest online education resource in the world. Karibishen. Your Excellency, the President of Zanzibar, Honorable Minister for Education and Vocational Training, other dignitaries on the dais and off the dais, I feel honored to be invited here to give a bit of the history. Uh, we divided into two parts. One is about the history of the IITs in India, and the other is about education. And one of the reasons why such a combination between Zanzibar and India is a very valuable thing for the education. I want to first say that the IITs were started in India in 1951. The first IIT was established in Karakpur. This was done in collaboration with the United Nations. The second IIT was started in uh, Bombay in 1958 with assistance from the then USSR. The third IIT was the IIT at Madras, which was started in 1959 with assistance from the then West German government. The fourth the IIT was started in Kanpur in, with the help of the American uh, government. In particular, it was through a consortium of universities in America. This was at Kanpur in United Provinces in India. The last of the first five IITs was started in 1960 in IIT in Delhi in collaboration with the British who felt that they had not already done so. They were in power before, but they hadn't started the IIT first. But in any case, we had the advantage of the experience of all these countries, and the IITs took off very well. It took some time, but they have now become famous institutions. The, one of the things I want to share with you is the fact that in education, there has been a step change in the last, let's say, 60 years or so, when the knowledge economy has become universal. Earlier, the model of the university, research university was that of the Renaissance thinkers who merely said only teaching and research were important in the context of education. And in fact, education, they said, the kind of education that was given in the university, they insisted, had two characteristics. One is that it paid attention to detail very carefully. Second is it was not immediately useful. This was a peculiar philosophical point. The idea was that you shouldn't pursue only those subjects that appear useful, but you should pursue all subjects. You don't know where the use comes from. But in this context, the knowledge, when the knowledge economy opened up about 100 years ago, roughly, or maybe a little less, it turns out that there are two important characteristics of the university that have become important nationally. Uh, the first one is that in order to gain economic advantage from the knowledge economy, 
the UN reported after a detailed study that you need a GER, which is the gross enrollment ratio, the ratio of the number of people who seek higher education to the num number of people, actually the number of people admitted to higher education divided by the number of people who seek or are eligible for higher education. In India, about 30 years ago it was 15, now it's closer to 50 percent. And 30 percent was the minimum requirement that they said. The knowledge economy essentially translates creativity, ideas in the university into products and services in the industry. And this is of great importance. The, in fact, about 40 percent of the gross economic income of the major developed countries comes from intellectual property rights. And uh, we discovered that we, our students had graduated and gone to work with companies in the U.S., especially in the U.S., and all the intellectual property that they had was transferred to the U.S., and we, we ended up paying intellectual rights, property rights to them. And uh, so we decided that we needed a research park in India itself. So this is one concept that has been implemented. And the second is that in order to get to this GER to start research parks, you also needed to increase the access of education. And we found that the best way to do it, given the situation in India, was by virtual universities. We haven't started a virtual university yet, but we started developing the courses under the National Program for Technical Education. And once these courses are ready, we can launch the virtual university. And we are hoping that will increase the number of people who have access to higher education. So in this context, we are very happy to, be, to have collaboration with uh, countries like uh, since we Zanzibar. And the, the point here is that you need a mix of minds. You need a mix of minds that are creative and are willing to work together in order to produce uh, intellectual property of, that is valuable in the long run. So I want to merely wish the government of uh, Zanzibar, the, His Excellency the President, and the Honorable Minister for Education and all the others who have helped us. I want to also thank the uh, Indian High Commissioner here for making this possible and our team from IIT which has really worked very hard to set this up. It's been at very short notice, but uh, going around the campus his Excellency the President would have also notice that a lot has been done. And uh, we are hoping that this will be as successful as the Germans experiment with India. And uh, we are hoping that this will take off and be a sample for the kind of education that one can achieve in our countries. Thank you very much. And I want to wish everybody well. Asante sana, Professor Anand. I'm by Colin Kurugenzi, uh, IIT Madras, Kwanzi Mwaka Elfumbili na Moja, Hadi Mwaka Elfumbili na Moja. Sasa ni mkaribishi Professor uh, Bashkar Ramamurthy, ambaye pia alikuwa mkurugenzi wa zamani wa IIT Madras, uh, Kwanzi Mwaka Elfumbili na Kumi na Moja, Hadi Mwaka Elfumbili na Shiri na Mbili, na katika kipindi chake kile kitengo cha utafiti kilichoanzishwa na Professor Anand, ye alikikuza na vile vile kuanzisha kozi ya Bachelor of Science program yeah, data science and applications please thank you his excellency the president of zanzibar and chairman of the revolutionary council dr hussein ali munwi the honorable lela mohammed musa minister for education and vocational training of zanzibar honorable Vinay Shrikant Pradhan, High Commissioner of India to Tanzania, Mr. Puneet Roy Kundal, Joint Secretary from the Ministry of External Affairs, dignitaries on the stage, dignitaries in the audience, students, faculty colleagues, staff, and others. It's really wonderful to be part of this historic launch of the IIT Madras campus at Zanzibar. As my senior colleague, Prof. Anand, uh, told all of you, the IITs, the first set of IITs were started with 
assistance from various countries. And then we, we never had any more IITs for several decades. The next round of uh, opening of new IITs started in 2008. Uh, they opened eight more. And that was done by the older IITs and holding these uh, newer ones. And then subsequently, in 2015, another six were started. And uh, these were again done the same way. So we sort of know how to do this. In a very simple analogy, if you take a good cutting from a healthy plant, put it in soil that has been prepared well, you follow the same processes, the same approach, give it the same nutrition, the ambience, the freedom to grow, then you'll get a similar IIT. We have seen this, it's a proven model, and therefore I have no doubt at all in my mind that this IIT Madras campus at Zanzibar will come up equally well and will shine in the coming years. In fact, I, in my term as director, we started, uh, the, as I told you in 2016, we started several, 15-16, uh, we started several new IITs in India. IIT Madras itself was responsible for two of them. The director of, the current director of one of them is here, IIT Tirupati, uh, my colleague from Satya Narayana. We started that campus also in about three or four months, like this one. So we've been through this before. It's not that uh, <coughs> we have not done this, and uh, IIT Tirupati is doing very well. So you can all be rest assured, this uh, we know how to do this. We had, as since we were, since the IITs were started with assistance from various countries across the world. We had an international outlook and flavor right from the beginning. There have always been faculty from those countries visiting our institutions, and there have been the early faculty of our institutes went very often to those countries for their PhDs or for their postdoc training. But as the country, as India grew, you know, all, all economic growth happens, follows an exponential model. It's only the time for doubling that may vary from country to country. So you enter a phase where you enter the hockey stick part of the growth phase. And that happened in India, has been happening in the last decade or so. So we are seeing rapid growth in all spheres, including the university system, the IITs, and so on. So now the internationalization in the IIT system in IIT Madras is very quite different. We actually now have a lot of collaborative research going on at universities across the world. We have joint PhD programs. We have students coming to our, ca our campus in Chennai to spend extended periods of time. We have foreign students enrolled in our programs, but even more than that, we have students coming in joint programs and our students going elsewhere in joint programs. This is now very deep and uh, multifaceted relationships, and it's growing very rapidly. For, for IIT Madras, this uh, phase where we actually step out and set up camp, a campus elsewhere in the world is a new uh, experience and we are very, very uh, excited about it and very determined to make sure that we do a great job and as my predecessor just mentioned, leave it as a shining example so for replicating it all over the world. The, it's very important to internationalize because these are universities. The more diversity we have in student body, in the faculty, in the uh, coming and going of people from industry and so on, the more you get new ideas, the more you get innovation, the more you're able to uh, generate value from this knowledge economy. And uh, therefore, it's very heartening that from day one, the Zanzibar campus is highly internationalized. It's a very good mix. And I'm, I think this is going to become even better as more students from other countries come here. Uh, this is very important. We were not able to do this in the initial decades in India, given our uh, the state of economic growth we were in. Of course, India is a large country. When I was a student at IIT Madras, uh, and um, just meeting students from all over the country in those days at the campus was itself a uh, you know, mind-expanding experience. So, but still, we didn't get the opportunity to have 
students from all over the world. But I think this is a very good uh, uh, beginning that from day one, the Zanzibar campus will have a healthy mix of students. And uh, I'm sure the administration will make all efforts to bring in even more diversity. And uh, this will really benefit uh, the, uh, this, this campus. And um, when the new ca I'm looking forward to the day when the new campus is ready on the uh, plot where the foundation stone was just laid today by His Excellency. It's a great opportunity to build a campus for the 21st century that takes into account the huge changes in the education that my predecessor alluded to, particularly the big impact of uh, hybrid learning, online learning, and so on. I think the, uh, the capability of, or the impact that campus of that size can have uh, is much, much more than what it would have had 30 or 40 years ago. I hope, I, I'm sure the campus will be developed keeping that in mind. And uh, I hope to see this campus become an international hub and a hub that actually becomes uh, a focus for the growth of Africa, the growth of Zanzibar, the growth of Tanzania, and the growth of, growth of Africa. We really, look, we really look forward to being a part of this, and uh, I pray that this endeavor uh, meets with great success. Uh, I want to congratulate my colleagues who have come here and uh, got all this ready in a matter of few months. Uh, when I was told about the time frame a um, few months ago back in Chennai, I was, I was not skeptical because I had told you we've done it before, but not at such a great distance. Tirupati is just 150 kilometers from Chennai. So I was a little concerned, but I think they pulled off, pulled it off very well. My congratulations to the team. My congratulations to the government here in Zanzibar for doing all that is necessary to get this campus uh, ready in such a short time. And I really look forward to the first batch graduating from here four years from now. Well, two years from now, you'll get the master's students graduating. And four years from now, you'll get the pioneer undergraduate batch graduating from the IIT Madras campus at Zanzibar. Best, of, best wishes to everybody, and thank you very much. Thank you very much. Makofi Mengisana for Professor Pashkar Ramamurthy. Um, I will soon be uh, inviting, uh, just stay put please, uh, Professor Priti uh, Agalayam, Yenem uh, Kurugenzi, Ntenaji wa IIT Madras. I just want to say one thing to underline a point made by Professor Anand that how impressed he was with uh, the pace of building this facility here. The Memorandum of Understanding was signed in June, July, in July. So it was only four months. This shows the commitment and the de determination that the president and his team has in taking Zanzibar to a totally, totally different level. Professor Priti, please. Thank you very much. Your Excellency President Dr. Ali Mwini, Madam First Lady, my friend, Honorable Leila, Minister, all the dignitaries on stage and the audience, Habari za subuhi, wanakam, Good morning. It's my honor to welcome all of you to IIT Madras's beautifully appointed campus here in Bueleo, Zanzibar. Karibu IIT Madras, Zanzibar. <laughs> IIT Madras has a long tradition of academic and research excellence. As an institution, we are constantly evolving, innovating, and growing. We were founded in 1959, as mentioned before, in a partnership between the Indian and German governments. Our principles of academic rigor, unwavering adherence to the scientific process, and community building through meaningful education and research have been part of the DNA from the get-go. Today, IIT Madras is an autonomous academic institution granting degrees at the undergraduate, postgraduate, and PhD levels across nearly 20 domains in science, engineering, business, and the social sciences. We are ranked number one among engineering institutions in India <laughs> for the past eight years. IIT Madras Chennai 6 50-acre campus is home to 10,000 students, 700 academic faculty, and 200 staff who all call it home. Visit with us in Chennai and explore the unique manner in which state-of-the-art technology labs are integrated into the natural beauty of our land. 
Our 50,000 strong alumni are world leaders and as CEOs, managing directors, presidents of corporates, other academic institutions, companies, big and small, they're indomitable forces. Distinguished leaders of IIT Madras, including Professors Anant and Bhaskar Ramurthy, who spoke before me, and the current director, Professor Kamakoti, who is joining, joining us online on this occasion, have put us on a tremendous path to success by setting a grand vision for the institution. The globalization strategy of IIT Madras, articulated by them, has been instrumental in bringing us together here today. Several international students are part of the IITM ecosystem, and there is significant mobility of faculty, research scholars, and students between our Chennai campus and several academic partners internationally. The Zanzibar campus is an unprecedented step forward for IITM. IITM Zanzibar is India's first IIT campus abroad. It is a historic moment indeed today for our countries. Let me express our team's heartfelt gratitude to His Excellency, the President, Dr. Mwini. <laughs> Sir, your personal involvement and guidance through this project has been phenomenal, and there are no words from the bottom of our moyoni, from our heart, to you. <laughs> of course, the Honorable Minister of Education, Ms. Leila Mohamed Musa, all the members of the team on this wonderful island, you've welcomed us with such warmth. Special gratitude to Sri Binay Pradhan, the High Commissioner of India to Tanzania, and his team for standing with us every step of the way. Thank you, sir. The IIT Madras Zanzibar campus has started on a very positive and high note with a batch of 45 students from diverse backgrounds, a distinguished faculty team of a dozen, and dedicated and caring staff who serve as our backbone. The Digital First Campus is equipped with state-of-the-art facilities, including fully smart classrooms, mobile app-based administration and learning management systems, and a vibrant hostel and dining facility for students. It is envisioned to grow as a hub for interdisciplinary academics, impactful research and consultancy, and remarkable innovation. Upholding our friendly relations with the communities around us is extremely important to us, and we are happy to have this occasion to invite all of you to this, our new home. IITM Zanzibar will serve the needs of the region in interdisciplinary STEM education, scientific research, and technological innovations for nation building. Currently, the campus offers undergraduate and graduate programs in data science and artificial intelligence. In future years, the student and faculty strength will grow and additional programs will be added based on need. The roadmap for the institution represents an accelerated growth plan focusing on interdisciplinary undergraduate programs, niche postgraduate programs, and skilling and industry-facing studies as well. We have a special place in our hearts for student-led innovation, and we will create opportunities for bright young minds to come together to develop unique solutions to challenging world problems. The IITs are research hotbeds, and the faculty and students of IITM Zanzibar will dedicate significant time to exploring research ideas, publishing papers, developing technology, driving policy, and impacting the region in a positive and sustainable way. The team that we have put together here is fantastic, and the grand vision and growth plan for IITM Zanzibar will be helped by them in a visible and lasting manner in very short uh, order, starting today. As the Dean and Founding Director in charge of the IIT Madras Zanzibar campus, I once again welcome you to meet our students, faculty and staff, and enjoy our hospitality. The gratitude that wells in our hearts for all of you present here today for the faith reposed in us is immeasurable. To the first cohort of students who sit proudly in the audience, I want to say this to you. You are remarkable. You. Thank you. You will change the world. We will leave no stone unturned as we work to ensure grand success for this small yet mighty institution. I thank you for your attention and end with the assurance that at IITM Zanzibar, we will together do incredible things. Makofi Yamani Asante Sana. Thank you very much, Professor Priti. Thank you. Uh, Namaste Asante Sana. Asante Sana. Uh, we've talked about the speed of how this facility was set up. 
Uh, I'm really impressed by the speed of the way Professor Preeti has managed to pick up the Swahili words. I mean, this is just incredible, my word. And I do believe when uh, the time comes, we're opening the new facility on the other side, you'll do your speech in Swahili. That's a challenge that I'm giving you. Asante sana. Na sasa tu pate wimbo wa ukaribisho kutoka kwa wanafunzi wa shule ya msingi mkunazini. Uh, these students are going to perform a kiaso. Uh, it's a traditional song from Pemba. And as you know, I mean, the geography of Zanzibar is a string of islands, but with two major islands, that is Pemba and Unguja. We are in Unguja, by the way. Uh, so this is from Pemba. Karibuni sana vijana. A big head for them, please. Makofi jamantua karibishi.
makofi mengi sana jamani kwa vijana wetu kutoka mkunazini shule ya msingi Asanteni sana makofi mengine jamani kwa vijana wetu wa mkunazini the confidence my word i think it's because of what we're doing here today their academic future is so bright that they look so happy that was the kiaso from pemba uh, performed by the students from kunazini primary school i'm going to uh, invite kindly invite honorable binaya srikanta Pradhan, who is uh, uh, the High Commissioner of the United, uh, the India High Commissioner to the United Republic of Tanzania. Karibu sana. His Excellency, Dr. Hussein Ali Mwini, President of Zanzibar. Her Excellency, First Lady, Madam Mariam Mwini. Speaker of the House of Representatives, His Excellency, Jubair Ali Modi. The Chief Justice, of Zanzibar, the Attorney General, the other ministers, members of House of Representatives, my senior colleague Ambassador Kunit Kundal, Deputy Permanent Secretary from Ministry of External Affairs from New Delhi, the two former Honorable Directors, Professor Anand and Professor Ramamurthy from IIT Chennai, other staff members from uh, IIT Chennai who are visiting here, Dr. Preeti uh, Aghalayam, Dr. Director of the IIT Zanzibar campus, the Consul General of India, uh, Dr. Praveen, other distinguished uh, guests, ladies and gentlemen. Salam alaikum, habarija, asubuhi, namaskar. For me, today is an emotional moment. Uh, this is, of course, historic, like everybody else is saying, and it's historic for many regions. It's not uh, historic only for the fact that this is the first time IIT has come outside India and this happens to be the first overseas campus of IIT outside India. But it is also historic for the fact that when you look at the speed at which it was implemented, in 120 days you are having a state of the campus ready. In exactly on 5th of July, uh, we. Uh, we are signing the MOU in the August presence of His Excellency the President and the Foreign Minister of India. And in 120 days, not only as I said, the state of art campus is ready, we have students selected from different countries passing through three-stage screening process. And these are the brightest among the brightest students who are selected in this 120 days. And we are having most well-equipped state of the art campus, which is already providing them education since 24th of October. So today is a historic day because it is also bringing a educational bondage between India and Tanzania, specifically India and Zanzibar. And I would say that this, this day would not only be remembered as an educational achievement, but it would be remembered as one of the biggest projects that India and Tanzania, India and Zanzibar have ever done. At a different level, you can also see at a lighter note, the Permanent Secretary, my friend, Honorable Khami Sayed, holding an Indian flag. And you can see Professor Raghu, the Dean of International Education, possibly keeping a Tanzanian flag in his pocket. This is, this is the Connect Excellency that you are developing today. And you can see behind the yellow T-shirt wearing students, the students from Zanzibar, students from India, they are mingling with each other, they are staying today. So this is a different, uh, different connect that we are developing. Of course, the education connect goes long back. On the dais, I can see uh, the, the regional commissioner having Indian educational connection. We have honorable speaker having Indian educational connection. I saw the representative of Ministry of Foreign Affairs speaking good Hindi with me. So we, like uh, the Prime Minister of India, last month told Her Excellency the President of Tanzania, the Prime Minister of India said that when he was a young child in the state of Gujarat, even before he heard the name of United States and United Kingdom, he
he had heard the name of Zanzibar because because Excellency Zanzibar is the confluence of India and Africa. Zanzibar was the point where India came and met Africa and this was the point from which the Indian traders, Indian diaspora came to not only Eastern Africa but the whole of Africa. But let me be very honest, uh, it is exceptional like I said that this campus took shape, came to a reality in such a short time but this is undoubtedly the contribution of only one person, that is the leadership of His Excellency President Dr. Hussein Ali Mwini. Like Professor Priti said, going beyond the protocol of his office and his busy schedule, he personally guided, he personally spent time, supervised this project, he interacted with the steering committee, he interacted with the professors visiting from IIT, and he from day one guided the campus uh, and, the, and the faculty and the people who were involved in that. And this role played by His Excellency the President will always be well documented and remembered in the chronicle of history about setting up of IIT campus outside India and in Zanzibar. Excellencies and friends, in last six decades, the IITs have emerged as a world-class engineering institute of excellence. We all know about the famous IIT alumni doing well uh, everywhere in the world. They are the business leaders, they are the technology leaders, and in many uh, ways, they are also the leaders of the society. Uh, they have been providing world-class solution to the developmental challenges being faced in India, uh, by the, not only by the government, but also by the society. Their contribution has been transformational. And uh, when it comes to IIT Madras Jan Janjibar campus, I'm sure, I'm confident that this campus should also be contributing immensely to nation building of Janjibar and Tanzania. And I remember, coming across an article recently in a Tanzanian newspaper that how IIT Zanzibar would be a game changer in Tanzania, I for one believe uh, in, in, in that projection. His Excellency President mandated from the very first day that the campus should be an international hub for learning and innovation. I am happy that the team under Professor Priti Agalayam has taken it as a mission and working with zeal and enthusiasm to translate this into reality. I can assure you, Your Excellency, that in few years time, we'll see this campus being counted as one of the best in the globe. <laughs> Recently, we had a historic visit of President of the United Republic of Tanzania, Dr. Samia Sulu Hassan to India. During her public remarks on various occasions in India, she appreciated this collaboration between India and uh, Tanzania on IIT. During her bilateral meetings with Prime Minister and President of India, she conveyed her sincere thanks and also support for this project. During the visit, as you would uh, recollect, the two leaders decided to elevate India and Tanzania's relationship to that of a strategic partnership. And I'm happy that it's befitting that the strategic IIT project is located in this new strategic partner of India in Africa. Let me take this opportunity to convey my sincere thanks uh, to the Ministry of Education and Vocational Training of Government of Tanzania and Government of Zanzibar. My special thanks are due to my sister, Honorable Minister of Education, Madam Leila Mohammed Musa. She remained a strong pillar of support <laughs> for implementing this project and providing all support at every stage. Principal Secretary, Mr. Khamis Said, uh, Deputy Principal Secretary, uh, Madam Moana Amir, Mr. Mohammed Alawi, the director of Karume Institute, and uh, the steering committee member, Mr. Hassan. They have worked tirelessly, and if this campus we see in this stage today, it's primarily their, their hard work and their contribution. My sincere thanks also to my friend, Mr. Ahmad Dibibi, who has been helping us from, from the very first day uh, in, in connecting us to various stakeholders, to helping us in, in resolving uh, issues as and when it comes across. In a way, Excellency, the first row that you see here, they have contributed for, for the success of this IIT. Whether it is Professor Modoy, I remember visiting uh, India last year in November uh, with uh, Madam Minister, or the people sitting in the second row from Tanzanian Educational Regulatory Authority from, uh, from NACBIT. I think this project could happen because of the speed at which they supported us, gave us the approval to do this project. So let me conclude. Uh, by wishing all the very best to this institute, specifically to the faculty members and to the uh, students. 
uh, I will request uh, that uh, if, we, if we can have uh, uh, one round, you know, the students, all 45 students standing together, both uh, students who, have, uh, who are from Tanzania and students from uh, India, if they can stand together. And as I notice, <laughs> Excellency, there is also a student from Nepal uh, in, in, the, in the group. And we have uh, a mix of faculty, uh, very experienced faculty, very young faculty. Can I request all the faculty members also to stand up? So, Excellency, they have been here for now three weeks. They have been already taking classes, interacting with the students. Please be seated. Uh, I also see uh, many familiar faces from Dar es Salaam. And these are the business leaders from Indian, uh, Indian business community, the principal of Indian school. Can I request uh, all the friends who have come from Dar es Salaam to stand up? So with this, Excellency, uh, let me thank once again for your kind assistance, kind guidance, kind support. And this is a project uh, which, uh, which is for me, uh, like I said, it's an emotional moment. It's a dream come true. And this I would always remember as a, as a significant achievement of my diplomatic career. Thank you very much, Excellency. Asante sana, Mheshimi wa Balozi. Balozi wa India hapa Tanzania. Jemhuri Mungano wa Tanzania. Bona Mheshimiwa Binaya Shrikanta Pradhan. Uh, I was uh, just the other day, I was speaking to a student from Bihar, and uh, she said when she saw the opportunity to come and study in Zanzibar, she went for it. And I asked her why. She said she wanted to be part of history. Wherever you are, you are part of history now. Karibu sana. May I call upon Mr. Uh, Puneet Roy Kundal, who is the Joint Secretary and Deputy Permanent Secretary. Uh, he's a representative from the Ministry of External Affairs, uh, the Government of India. Karibusana. Thank you. Your Excellency, Dr. Hussein El Mueni, the President of Zanzibar and the Chairman of the Revolutionary Council. Your Excellency, Leila Mohammad Musa, Minister of Education. Honorable Speaker Zubair Ali Maulid, Honorable Chief Justice Hamis Ramadan Shaban, my friend Binay, High Commissioner of India, Professor Preeti Agalayam, Consul General of India, other dignitaries, all protocols observed, ladies and gentlemen. Namaskar, a very good morning. I'm honored to come from India to bring the greetings from the Indian leadership, including Prime Minister Modi, as we come together on this momentous occasion, I vividly recall my visit to Zanzibar in July this year, when the MOU for establishing this institute was signed in the August presence of the President. Today, it is a matter of great pride for all of us to witness the inauguration of the first overseas campus of IIT anywhere in the world. When the decision to open IITs outside India was made, it was clear that the first IIT should be established in the Global South, further bolstering our commitment expressed under our G20 presidency. Within the Global South, Africa emerged as the most trusted and the strategic and perhaps a natural partner for us to do that. The entry of the African Union in the G20 during our presidency is a testament to that commitment, as is the establishment of IIT here in Zanzibar. Zanzibar emerged as the natural choice given our history, culture, cuisine, and now education. This IIT indeed symbolizes the harmonious blend of our shared experiences between India and Africa, and specifically Zanzibar. I would like to once again express our heartfelt gratitude to the visionary leadership of His Excellency Dr. Muini, his unwavering enthusiasm and staunch support have made today's event possible, indeed the establishment of this institution in the very first place. The IITs have been the bedrock of excellence in technical education within India. The vision behind the IITs is undeniably vindicated by the remarkable achievements of its alumni, something that was mentioned by Professor Anand just a few minutes back. Today, as we look around the world, if you look around the Fortune 500 companies, you see that the C-suite in most of these companies, whether it's the CEO or the CTO or the CFO, is invariably from the IITs and certainly from India. 
Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted also to welcome the first batch of the inaugural students in the Bachelor of Science and Master of Technology programs in Data Science and Artificial Intelligence. As I look at their promising faces, I see the future alumni who will steer global technology, who will ignite a startup revolution in Zanzibar, Tanzania, and Africa, and pioneer cutting edge technologies that will enhance the lives of ordinary people. This has been the motto of the IITs in India throughout their existence. I have no doubt in my mind and on behalf of the government of India that I see IIT Zanzibar as the leading pan-African institution. I would like to focus on the word pan-African once again as the pan-African institution that will nurture the architects of the Africa's rise in the 21st century. I also extend best wishes of the government of India and my personal wishes to the IIT faculty as the pioneers of these institutions, I have no doubt in saying that you are the trailblazers tasked with this task, uh, with, this, uh, with, the bar, with, the, with the job of setting the bar of excellence high for the future generations to cross and certainly touch. With the unwavering support of the government of the United Republic of Tanzania and the government of Zanzibar, I'm sure of the success of this institution that now represents a shining example of a bilateral cooperation and I can say collaboration. Together, let us script the success story that will resonate across the borders and inspire generations to come. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Asante sana, Bwana Punit. Thank you very much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished uh, guests, uh, Your Excellency, as well, brace yourselves for another big surprise. Karibuni. It's our very own students from Kunazini once again with an Indian song. Now, this song is sung in Hindu and Tamil, and it's a very special song which has been composed specifically for this event. It talks about the historic ties we've been talking about here, but as well talking about how happy we all are to be here. Karibuni.
रुके हम रुके ना रुके तो चलो That was fantastic. Another round of applause, please. And now there's going to be a classical uh, dance, I'm told. And the kids, tunaweza kwenda sasa jamani. Vijana wetu kutoka mkunazini, tucheze tukiona natoka. Tafadhali. 
ili tuweze kumpisha Anushka anakuja uh, na performance yake ya classic Bila shaka I'm sure uh, growing up all of us makofi jamani Santeni sana vijana Santeni sana Santeni sana we All right So there's another performance coming uh, from Anushka Santeni sana I'm sure we growing up we watched a lot of Indian films from Bollywood and I can tell you what I can sing a lot of Indian songs without even knowing what what they mean but this is part of us it's always been part of us um the indian culture karibu sana anushka Thank you. 
Hey performance a round of applause makofi jamani kwa binti yetu huyu akicheza wimbo huo nichukue nafasi hii pia yeah totally deserves that handshake with the president with the president anaitwa anushka ndio amefanya performance hii Makofi tafadhali kwa Anushka jamani once again a round of applause to Anushka that was amazing honestly um just want to acknowledge the presence of professor Musa Asad who's the former controller and auditors general uh, deputy education minister for Zanzibar Ali Gulam uh, former chief secretary Abdul Hamid Mze who's here with us as well and the district commissioner for Magaribi B uh, Hamida Musa Hamis. Uh, and now we're getting closer. I'm going to invite now the uh, one and only Honorable Leila Mohammed Musa, who is our host, so that she can invite our chief guest, Karibusana Waziri Leila. Dr. Mwenye Oye, ITM Oye, Elimu Oye, Asante Nisana, Mushimiwa, Raisu wa Zanzibar, na Mwenye Kitu wa Baraza la Mapinduzi, Mushimiwa Dr. Hussein Ali Mwenye, Mushimiwa Mama Maria Mwenye, Mke wa Raisi wa Zanzibar, na Mwenye Kitu wa Baraza la Mapinduzi, 
mheshimiwa balozi wa India nchini Tanzania mwakilishi wa mheshimiwa waziri wa mambo ya nje wa India mheshimiwa speaker wa baraza la wawakilishi <coughs> mwanasheria mkuu mheshimiwa mwanasheria mkuu wa serikali ya mapinduzi ya Zanzibar mheshimiwa mkuu wa mkoa wa mjini Maharibi natambua uwepo wa katibu mkuu kiongozi na katibu wa baraza la mapinduzi Profesa Priti Mkurugenzi Mtendaji wa Kampasi ya IT Madrasa Zanzibar waheshimiwa mawaziri na manaibu mawaziri sote tuliopo na muona mheshimiwa waziri wa afya na mheshimiwa naibu waziri wa elimu na mheshimiwa naibu waziri wa ardhi natambua uwepo pia waheshimiwa mabalozi mbalimbali na wawakilishi wao ambao nawakilisha nchi mbalimbali natambua pia uwepo wakilishi wa mawaziri wa elimu ambao wanawakilisha mawaziri mbalimbali wa elimu makatibu wakuu mbalimbali tu waliopo wakiongozwa na katibu mkuu wa Wizara ya Elimu na naibu katibu mkuu wa Wizara ya Elimu Sayansi na Teknolojia kwa upande wa Tanzania bara wenye mwenyekiti wa bodi ya ITTA Madrasa Profesa Mohamed Shehe na wajumbe wako na kuoneni hapo mbele natambua uwepo wa viongozi mbalimbali wa taasisi za serikali na taasisi binafsi na, shiri, na mashirika ya kimaendeleo yaliopo Tanzania natambua uwepo pia waheshimiwa mwakilishi wa Jimbo la Dimani na mheshimiwa mbunge wa Jimbo la Dimani wakuu wa vyombo vya ulinzi maprofesa wote tuliopo hapa wa ITT Madrasa Campus ya Zanzibar na bila shaka Campus ya ITT Madrasa nchini India natambua uwepo pia wa steering committee ambayo ndio imetufanya leo tusimame hapa tukiwa tumependeza natambua pia uwepo wa wanafunzi wa vyuo vikuu na wakuu wao wa vyuo vikuu vya Tanzania vya ndani lakini wanafunzi wenyeji wa ITT Madrasa Natambua pia uwepo kwa wakurugenzi mbalimbali kutoka Wizara ya Elimu na Mafunzo ya Amali na Wizara mbalimbali kiemo Wizara ya Afya. Natambua uwepo wa wenyeji wetu viongozi mbalimbali wa shehia hii ya Dimani na wazee wa Dimani wapo hapa na bweleo pia. Natambua uwepo pia wa wananchi mbalimbali waliohudhuria mabibi na mabwana waandishi wa habari asalamu alaikum. Na wasalimu kwa jina la Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania. Mheshimiwa Rais awali ya yote nianze kwa kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kutufikisha salama leo hii tarehe sita mwezi wa 11 2023 katika eneo hili la Bweleo kwa ajili ya shughuli hii ya uzinduzi wa taasisi kubwa duniani ambayo historia tumeiandika Zanzibar Mheshimiwa Rais MC ameniambia jukumu langu ni kukaribisha wewe lakini kwa ruhusa yako na kumu wakutaza wa shughuli hii naomba niseme machache kabla ya kukukaribisha rasmi. Mheshimiwa Rais nishukue fursa hii kukushukuru wewe binafsi kwa kukubali kuja leo hii kuungana na sisi kutuzindulia rasmi taasisi hii ya Indian Institute of Technology Madrasa Campus ya Zanzibar. Tunajua una majukumu mengi na makubwa lakini kutunga mkono sisi umetupa heshima kubwa na umetutia moyo sana 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 lakini umeonyesha imani yako kwa sekta ya elimu na nia yako ya kuiongoza sekta ya elimu kimaendeleo Mheshimiwa Rais kuanzishwa kwa taasisi hii walolitangulia walishaeleza Nataka hadhara hii jue bila ya msimamo wa Mheshimiwa Rais wetu bila ya maamuzi magumu ya Mheshimiwa Rais wetu ingalibakia historia kuanzishwa kwa kampasi hii Zanzibar. Hilo lazima waliopo hapa Mheshimiwa Rais wajue. Mheshimiwa Rais amekuwa mstari wa mbele katika kuhakikisha anafanikisha jitihada hizi usiku mchana ili kampasi hii iwepo na iwe na viwango sawa sawa na IT Madrasa. Mheshimiwa Rais tunakushukuru kwa maongozo yako, kwa support yako kubwa ambayo umetupa si sekta ya elimu katika kuliwafikisha hili. Mara ya mwanzo mheshimiwa 
kuna tuletea agizo wizara ya elimu tusimamie kuanzishwa chuo hichi ili kuwa mwezi Novemba na kumbuka tarehe 14 Novemba na ukataka niende India ambapo nilisafiri tarehe 17 ili chuo hichi kianzwe kwa hiyo first discussion ambayo ndio mwanzo tunasema inaanza kuanzishwa kwa chuo hichi tulianza Novemba mwaka jana wakati nakutana na timu ya IT Madrasa India nilipofika wakanambia mheshimiwa sisi tumeshakubaliana na mheshimiwa rais na alishatuambia kama anataka mwakani tuanze kufundisha Zanzibar kwa hiyo kama umekuja huku uondoke na work plan ambayo mtutaenda kuitekeleza kwa pamoja ili mwisho wa siku Oktoba 2023 chuo hichi kianze ilikuwa si rahisi na udogo wangu huu nilizidi kuwa mdogo kwa kweli lakini alhamdulillah support ya mheshimiwa rais ilikuwa kubwa sana kwetu na alitupa comfort na trust ya, ya kutuaminisha kama tunaweza na tunaweza kulisimamia hili mheshimiwa tunakushukuru tunakushukuru sana 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 tunamuomba Mwenyezi Mungu aendelee kuwezidishia hekima na busara katika kutuongoza sisi wasaidizi wako katika kutekeleza yale ambayo ni vipaumbele vyako kwa ajili ya maslahi mapana ya taifa letu Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi kwa kipekee pia nimshukuru Mheshimiwa Rais wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania Dr. Samia Suluh Hassan. Amekuwa ni rais ambaye diplomasia ya taifa la Tanzania inakuwa kwa sababu ya jitihada mbalimbali ambazo amekuwa akizichukua mkishirikiana kwa pamoja na ndio maana marais wetu nyinyi wawili mmeongeza imani. Kwa nchi zote rafiki duniani kuwa na imani na Tanzania, kuwa na imani Zanzibar. Na ndio maana leo tunaanzisha taasisi hii hapa Zanzibar. Mheshimiwa Rais, taasisi hii ilishatolewa maelezo lakini naamini ilitolewa maelezo kwa Kiingereza, maprofesa wote waliokuja hapa walieleza. Taasisi hii ni ya kwanza kwa ubora nchini India kuliko ni vyo vyote tunavyojua. That is the best university ranked. Lakini katika maswali ya teknolojia pia ni first ranked katika nchi ya India. Tukija kwa general kwa dunia tunasema ni chuo kama mia mbili na hamsini na tatu. Lakini ukiangalia vyo vyetu Tanzania vyote tulivonavyo vinaanza katika hadhi ya dunia ni elfu moja na. Kwa hiyo hichi ikiwa ni cha mia mbili kwa dunia nzima we are very far very far. Asante sana Mheshimiwa Rais kwa kutuletea neema hii katika visiwa vyetu. Mheshimiwa Rais kwa mwaka huu ni wanafunzi 46 ambao wameanza na programu ambazo zimeanza kufundishwa ni digiri ya kwanza na digiri ya pili katika fani ya data science and artificial intelligence. Ni habari njema na za kufurahisha kwamba katika wanafunzi hawa 46 21 ni wa Tanzania haijawahi kutokea katika historia ya taifa hili. Na ni habari njema kwamba maprofesa Profesa Prisi ananiambia kwamba wanafunzi wa Tanzania they are good and very competent na wana compete duniani kote. Utaratibu wa kupatikana kwa wanafunzi hawa katika chuo hichi kilitangazwa katika website yao ya chuo. Wanafunzi wakaomba online, wakafanyiwa interview online na wakaja maprofesa Zanzibar wakawahoji physically. Lakini sio tu kama wale hoji wa Tanzania, wale hoji wanafunzi mbali mbali duniani. Karibu wanafunzi 1000 waliomba kwa ajili ya kujiunga hapa. 400 sorry, waliomba kwa ajili ya kujiunga kampasi hii baada ya mchujo mkubwa wakapatikana wanafunzi sabini. Lakini kwa sababu ya upya na changamoto mbalimbali mbali za kibifumo ya uwezeshaji wa baadhi ya wanafunzi waka drop dakika la mwisho tukabakia na wanafunzi 46. Huu ni mwanzo mzuri ambao tumeanza Mheshimiwa Rais na tunaahidi tutaendeleza. Mheshimiwa Rais chuo hichi kiko sehemu ya Bweleo kipo Tanzania katika kuhakikisha usalama wa wananchi nataka nitoe salamu za wazee wa Bweleo waliniambia kama kamwambie mheshimiwa rais tunamshukuru sana ametuletea neema ya chuo hichi katika kijiji chetu Bweleo tulikuwa hatuko kwenye ramani ya dunia lakini leo tutaonekana walichoniahidi walichoniahidi ni kuwa watakuwa majirani wema na wanafunzi wote wa kigeni ambao wako hapa na wanasoma hiyo ndio ahadi yao kwao wakasema usalama wao watahakikisha upo na tuhakikisha wanawapa mashirikiano na wasajione wageni katika visiwa hizi vya Zanzibar kama ilivyo kawaida ukarimu 
ni mila na desturi za Zanzibari na Watanzania kwa hiyo na wao wameahidi hilo nataka niwathibitishie uma, umati huu uliopo kwamba wanafunzi wote bila shaka na maprofesa wote wageni ambao wako hapa wako katika mikono salama katika eneo hili la bileo Mheshimiwa Rais tumefanya ziara na umeona miundo mbinu mbalimbali ya kisasa ambayo ipo katika chuo hichi Tukushukuru sana Mheshimiwa Rais kwa kuhakikisha kuwa chuo hichi kinakuwa na standard more than mi nimemwambia Profesa Priti wajipange huko lakini kwa tulivyojipanga Zanzibar na Tanzania tutahakikisha chuo hichi kinakuwa na ubora zaidi kuliko ni hivyo vyo vyote walivonavo huko India kwa hiyo wajipange vizuri kwa sababu kasi yetu ni nzuri Mheshimiwa kufanyika kwa haya yote kuna jitihada ya watu ambao wamefanya na nitakuwa mwizi wa shukurani kama hapa sitoa shukuru mbali na wewe binafsi mheshimiwa kutuwezesha kifedha kutuwezesha ushauri kutuwezesha kila kitu kwa ajili ya kufanyika kwa hili lakini mheshimiwa balozi wa India alikuwa mstari wa mbele tumekuwa tunafanya kazi amekuwa part and parcel ya wizara ya elimu sasa tunafanya kazi usiku na mchana kuhakikisha hili linafanikiwa na kweli leo historia imeandikwa lakini kwa kipekee pia mheshimiwa wizara ya elimu science na teknolojia Tanzania bara ikiwemo pamoja na taasisi zake zinazotoa registration ya vyuo TCU na NACTE manake mwanzo lilipokuja wazo chuo kinataka kuanzishwa inaanzishwa satellite sio local university sio local institution idhani international institution tunafanyaje taratibu za nchi zinasemaje na vitu kama hivyo utaratibu wa chuo hichi wanafunzi wanasoma mitaala ambayo inafundishwa India na vieti ambavyo watapewa ni viu ambavyo vimesainiwa na vinatolewa na taasisi ya India sio hapa Tanzania Niwashukuru sana naibu katibu mkuu Wizara ya Science and Technology tangu mara ya mwanzo tulipoanza safari hii tulikuwa naye na timu yake washauri wetu wakubwa TCU na Nactivex walitushauri vizuri na wakatuonyesha njia lakini timu mzima ya ITT ITTM Madrasa wakiongezwa na Global Dean of the Global Exchange Program na timu yake walituongoza vizuri sana lakini wakipekee kabisa mheshimiwa haya yote asingaliwezekana pia bila ya timu yake ya wizara ya elimu na mafunzo ya amali Zanzibar. Mheshimiwa timu imefanya kazi kubwa na imesimamia vyema kufanikisha hili. Lakini yote hayo mastering wa mchezo huu ni steering committee naomba msimame. <laughs> Professor yes you have to stand. Team of steering committee. Mheshimiwa hapa Zanzibar si ni wapenzi wa movie za Kihindi huwa kuna mtu tunamwita staring hawa ndo mastering wetu ambao leo ametufimamisha hapa naomba tuwapigie makofi tafadhali <laughs> Mheshimiwa ni mixta staring committee hii professor Priti three members from India and three member from Tanzania lakini nataka nikwambie wamefanya kazi ilikuwa ni vita wanagombana baadhi ya wakati wanafurahi baadhi ya wakati wananuniana baadhi ya lakini linaenda 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 na leo limefika hivi kwa kweli tunawashukuru sana hatuna maneno ya kuongea ambayo yatatosha kuwasilisha wametusaidia sana amesema mheshimiwa balozi naomba tukae chuo hichi ni miezi mitatu tu kwa sababu tumesign July ilikuwa imeisha August September October na November tuko hapa tuna tunazindua tuna haikuwa rahisi wamefanya kazi ngumu sana wakishirikiana na maengineer wetu mbalimbali ambao walikuwepo katika site hii naamini mwanzo ni mgumu lakini kila tukiendelea mbele kila kitu kitakuwa sawa na kila kitu kitakuwa kama ambavyo tumetarajia mheshimiwa katika campus hii kwa sasa kama makubaliano ambavyo yapo upande wa serikali ya India ni technical part maswala ya mitaala, ufundishaji na awarding ya certificate na maswali ya enrollment ya wanafunzi. Lakini na upande wa serikali ni party administration, wapo local staff ambao ni wazawa, naomba tusimame local staff wa IT campus madrasa ambao hatukuajiri wape mheshimiwa rais, lakini tulichukua kutoka taasisi mbalimbali kutokana na uzoefu wao na wapo wameanza kazi rasmi. Lakini pia kwa upande wa maprofesa kwa upande wa India tayari mheshimiwa balozi amesha wa, watambulisha naomba itoshe kwa utambulisho ambao wamepewa 
jukumu lao ni kuwafundisha vijana wetu katika ubora na viwango kama ambavyo tumekubaliana na sisi serikali tumejikomit mheshimiwa wizara ipo tayari kuendelea kuwa supporti wageni wetu hawa kwa ajili ya kuendelea kufanya kazi zao kwa ufanisi lakini kwa sababu kampasi hii ni mpya mheshimiwa hapa tuliposimama ni shamiana tunaweza kulitumia na zipo taasisi mbalimbali hapa nitumie fursa hii kuambia katika kampasi hii kuna ukumbi wa kisasa na bora ambao una vifaa vya kisasa tukiwa na mikutano yetu tunaweza kuja hapa kwa ajili ya kufanya mikutano ambayo tunayo theta inaingia wana wageni zaidi ya moja lakini na hapa zaidi ya tatu mpaka tano wanaweza kuwa accommodated hichi ni kitu kikubwa lakini yapo mashirika na taasisi mbalimbali na makampuni mbalimbali hapa ni fursa hii waitumie kuja huku kwa ajili ya kuwapa fursa vijana wetu hawa kwa ajili ya kufanya mazoezi mbalimbali katika makampuni yao ili wazidi kuongezea uwezo pamoja na kuendeleza na kupata fursa ambayo tusingalipata bila ya jitihada ya viongozi wetu. Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi baada ya kusema hayo sasa kwa heshima na taazima naomba nikukaribishe rasmi lakini kabla ya kukaribisha mheshimiwa nimewauliza hapa mbona tuko Zanzibar sijaona ladha ya Zanzibar. Naomba na sorgudu kidogo utupe burdani alafu nitarudi kumkaribisha mheshimiwa rais. Asante sana kwa kunisikiliza.
karibuni Zanzibar that is Zanzibar Asante sana Burdani sasa kwa heshima na taadhima baada ya burudani hiyo rasmi naomba mheshimiwa rais nikukaribishe ili uweze kuongea na hadhara hii karibu sana wa baraza la wawakilishi Mheshimiwa Waziri wa Elimu na Mafunzo ya Mali Zanzibar Mheshimiwa Lela Mwanasheria Mkuu wa Serikali Mheshimiwa Mawaziri na Naibu Mawaziri mliopo hapa Mkuu wa Mkoa wa Mjini Magharibi Mheshimiwa Balozi wa India nchini Tanzania Katibu Mkuu Kiongozi na Makatibu Wakuu wa serikali ya Jamhuri ya Muungano na serikali ya Mapinduzi ya Zanzibar Professor Priti Director in Charge wa IIT Madras Zanzibar Campus Makamu wa kuwa vyo vikuu mbalimbali mliopo hapa watendaji na watumishi wa Wizara ya Elimu na Mafunzo ya Amali wawakilishi wa taasisi za elimu zikiwemo TCU na Tevet vyo vikuu na wengine liopo ndugu wanafunzi na wakufunzi wa chuo hiki wageni walikwa mabibi na mabwana asalamu alaikum nianze kwa kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu mwingi wa rehma kwa kutujalia uhai na afya njema na kutuwezesha kuhudhuria katika shughuli ya uzinduzi wa kampasi ya taasisi ya India Institute of Technology Madras hapa Zanzibar Nachukua fursa hii kutoa shukurani kwa Wizara ya Elimu na Mafunzo ya Amali kwa ushirikiano na wenzao wa India Institute of Technology kwa maandalizi mazuri hadi kufikia hatua hii ya leo ya uzinduzi rasmi wa taasisi hii. Kadhalika napenda kuwashukuru waalikwa wote kwa kuhudhuria katika shughuli hii ambayo ni hatua nyingine ya maendeleo ya sekta ya elimu hapa Zanzibar na ukanda huu wa Afrika ya mashariki na kati. Wageni walikwa na ndugu wananchi. Maelezo kuhusiana na wazo la kuanzisha kampasi hii na hatua zilizopitiwa yameshaelezwa kwa urefu na waziri wa elimu na mafunzo ya amali Zanzibar. Aidha maelezo yanohusu aina ya taaluma katika chuo hiki na matarajio ya baadaye yameshaelezwa kwa urefu na mkurugenzi wa kampasi hii uh, ya ni director in charge professor Priti bila ya shaka sote tumeelewa kuwa IITM ni taasisi ya elimu ambayo imeonyesha mafanikio makubwa katika kukuza ujuzi katika teknolojia na uvumbuzi nchini India. Tokea kuanzisha kwake taasisi hii imekuwa ikitoa wahandisi waliobebea wanaojulikana kwa ubunifu na ujuzi wao katika sekta ya teknolojia na uvumbuzi. Wataalamu wanaohutimu katika taasisi hii wameenea duniani kote na wanatumika katika nchi mbalimbali. Wageni walikwa na ndugu wananchi. Lengo kuu la serikali lililopelekea kuchukua uamuzi wa kuanzisha tawi la IIT hapa Zanzibar kwa kushirikiana na serikali ya India ni kuleta maendeleo ya nchi yetu na watu wake kielimu, kiuchumi na kijamii. Serikali imeamua kwa makusudi kuanzisha kampasi hii ili kuharakisha utekelezaji wa mipango yetu na kufikia maendeleo yanayotarajiwa. Ili kufikia dira yetu ya mwaka 2050 tunahitaji kuwekeza zaidi katika kuwatayarisha wafanyakazi wenye taaluma na ujuzi wa hali ya juu ili kujenga taifa bora kiuchumi na kijamii. Hatuwezi kufanya mageuzi ya kiuchumi yani economic transformation ambayo ndio nguzo ya kwanza ya dira ya Zanzibar ya ishirini hamsini bila ya kuwa na wataalamu wenye ujuzi unaohitajika ambao unakwenda sambamba na dunia tunayoishi. Kwa hivyo, kuwepo kwa kampasi ya IIT hapa Zanzibar ni hatua moja kubwa sana 
ya kuweza kutayarisha mazingira bora ya kufanikisha utekelezaji wa dira yetu ya 2050. Wageni walikuwa ndugu wananchi mabibi na mabwana. Kwa sasa serikali inatekeleza mageuzi makubwa ya elimu. Mitaala ya mitaala yetu ya elimu hapa Zanzibar na ya Tanzania kwa ujumla inalenga kujenga ujuzi zaidi ambao utawawezesha wanafunzi kuweza kuyatumia maarifa walioyapata kwa vitendo. Ni matarajio yetu kuwa chuo hiki kitatoa wataalamu mbalimbali hasa katika sekta ya teknolojia na ubunifu. Katika kufikia hayo tutakuwa tunapiga hatua katika utekelezaji wa malengo ya dunia ya malengo endelevu. Lengo la nne la malengo ya malengo endelevu ni upatikanaji wa elimu bora yani quality education. Hivyo kuwepo kwa chuo hiki ni hatua moja muhimu ya kuboresha sekta ya elimu hasa kwa upande wa elimu ya juu na teknolojia. Hivi sasa Zanzibar, Tanzania na Afrika kwa ujumla tuna uhitaji mkubwa wa wataalamu wa teknolojia ili kusaidia kukabiliana na changamoto za kimaendeleo zinazotukabili. Tunaamini kuwa kupitia wataalamu wenye ujuzi wa hali ya juu na watafiti ambao watafundisha katika chuo hiki wahitimu watakaomaliza hapa watakuwa wamejengewa maarifa na ujuzi unaohitajika duniani wahitimu hao wataweza kutatua changamoto zinazokabili sekta mbalimbali mbali, zikiwemo nishati kilimo afya elimu viwanda na nyingine nyingi upatikanaji wa wataalamu hawa utasukuma pia katika utekelezaji wa lengo la tisa katika malengo ya dunia eh, ambalo ni la viwanda ubunifu na miundombinu yani industry innovation and infrastructure uanzishaji wa kampasi hii utazisogeza karibu fursa za kupata wataalamu ambao watatumika katika viwanda ubunifu na miundombinu katika nchi yetu na bara la Afrika kwa ujumla ndugu alikuwa na ndugu wananchi mabibi na mabwana uanzishaji wa kampasi hii pia utatoa fursa ya ushirikiano kati ya watafiti na wataalamu wa ndani na nje ya nchi. Hali hii itasaidia kuhamasisha uvumbuzi na kuongeza uwezo wetu wa kukabiliana na changamoto za kiteknolojia. Nimejulishwa kuwa kuna, ut- kuna utafiti ambao utafanywa katika kampasi hii wa sayansi ya data ambao utadhaminiwa na IIT Madras kampasi ya India kwa ajili ya mji wa Zanzibar, yani Data Science Project for Zanzibar City. Tafiti kama hizi zitasaidia sana serikali kufanya maamuzi sahihi na hivyo kuharakisha maendeleo ya taifa letu. Bali na faida za kielimu, kuwepo kwa kampasi hii hapa Zanzibar kutasaidia kukuza ushirikiano na utamaduni kwa kuishi pamoja watu wa mataifa mbalimbali. Tunategemea mchanganyiko wa wanafunzi kutoka mataifa mbalimbali mbali, utajenga ushirikiano kati yao. Kwa kuanzia nimearifiwa kuwa Kampasi hii itaanza na mchanganyiko wa wanafunzi kutoka Tanzania, bara, Zanzibar, India na Nepal. Wageni walikuwa ndugu wananchi, mabibi na mabwana. Mipango ya serikali ni kuanza kwa kampasi hii ya muda na baadaye kujenga kampasi ya kudumu ambayo itakuwa na uwezo wa kutoa programu zote zinazotolewa na kampasi mama ya IIT Madras India. Hatua hiyo itatanua zaidi fursa za kitaaluma na uzalishaji wa wataalamu wengi na wafani nyingi zaidi ili kuleta mafanikio katika taaluma ya teknolojia. Nitoe wito kwa viwo vya ndani ya nchi kuona kuwa kuwepo kwa chuo hiki hapa Zanzibar ni fursa ya kuanzisha ushirikiano nao ili kukuza uwezo na hadhi ya viwo vyao. Mpaka sasa naambiwa kuwa kuna viwo vinne ambavyo tayari vimeshakuwa na MOU na IIT Zanzibar. Vyo hivyo ni University of Birmingham, UK, African School of Economics, Deakin University Australia, Nigerian University of Technology and Management cha Nigeria. Hivyo vyo vyetu vya ndani na vyo vyote vya Afrika vione ushirikiano na IIT utasaidia kunyanyua hadhi ya vyo vyao na kuwezesha wafanyakazi na wanafunzi wao
kupata fursa kubwa zaidi za kitaaluma na kutambulika zaidi duniani. Wageni walikwa mabibi na mabwana. Nichukue fursa hii kipekee kuzitaka taasisi mbalimbali hapa nchini kuimarisha huduma zao ili kuwasaidia wanafunzi na wataalamu wanaoamua kuja katika chuo hiki. Idara ya uhamiaji na wajibu wa kushughulikia masuala ya visa kwa wanafunzi na wakufunzi ili isiwe kikwazo kwa wahusika. Swala la usalama nalo linahitajika kuimarishwa. Na wapongeza kwa dhati kabisa wanafunzi wote waliwaomba kujiunga na chuo hiki na wale waliobahatika kuchaguliwa. Serikali itahakikisha inatoa udhamini kwa wanafunzi wengi kadri itakavyowezekana. Napenda kuchukua nafasi hii kuwasihi vijana wa Zanzibar na wa Tanzania kwa ujumla wasiache fursa hii mwakani. Natoa wito kwa nchi mbalimbali mbali za Afrika na duniani kutumia fursa hii ya kuja kusoma hapa Zanzibar. Tunasema karibuni sana. Kwenu wanafunzi na, kutak- na kutakeni muwe mabalozi wazuri wa nchi yenu kwa kukitangaza chuo hiki wanafunzi wengi zaidi kutoka mataifa mbalimbali mbali, waje wajiunge. Mkiwa katika taasisi hii na wajibu wa kufanya juhudi ili muonyeshe uwezo wenu na tuyafikie yale tunayoyatarajia katika uanzishwaji wa kampasi hii. Mategemeo yetu ni kuwa mtachukua nafasi hii kuendeleza hadhi ya chuo hiki na nchi yetu kwa ujumla. Wageni walikuwa ndugu na nchi mabibi na mabwana. Kwa vile kampasi hii ndio kwanza inaanza. Naamini kutakuwa na changamoto za hapa na pale. Ni matumaini yangu kwa uongozi wa Wizara ya Elimu na Mafunzo ya Amali na IIT watakabiliana na changamoto hizo ili chuo kiendelee na kuleta matunda yanayotarajiwa. Nachukua nafasi hii kutoa wito kwa taasisi mbalimbali za Tanzania kuwasaidia na kuwapa udhamini wanafunzi watakaobahatika kujiunga na chuo hiki kwa kadri itakavyowezekana. Kabla ya kumalizia hotuba yangu, napenda kuchukua nafasi hii kwa shukuru kwa dhati kabisa watu wote waliochangia kwa maoni, mipango na utekelezaji katika matayarisho ya kuanzishwa kwa kampasi hii. Shukurani maalum ziende kwa Wizara ya Elimu na Mafunzo ya Amali na Wizara ya Elimu, Sayansi na Teknolojia ya Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania, ubalozi wa, wa India nchini, chini ya balozi tunakushukuru sana mheshimiwa balozi na ubalozi mdogo wa India hapa Zanzibar. Aidha napenda niwashukuru kamati tendaji ya Zanzibar na India, Nativet, TCU na wengine wote ambao situweza kuwataja mmoja mmoja kwa sababu ya wingi wao. Tunakutakieni nyote kila laheri na tunakushukuruni sana. Sasa kabla sijamaliza ni sema kwamba nilikuwa na ndoto. Moja katika ndoto zangu kwa Zanzibar ni kuifanya Zanzibar kituo cha vyuo vikuu vya kimataifa hapa Zanzibar. Leo nina furaha sana kwa sababu sasa sio ndoto tena. Sasa ni reality. Na kwa kweli katika ndoto yangu hiyo sikuwahi kufikiria kwamba chuo kikuu cha kwanza kitakachokuja Zanzibar kitakuwa ni miongoni mwa vyuo vikuu bora duniani kama hiki cha IIT. Nataka niwaeleze wa Zanzibari na wa Tanzania kwa ujumla kwamba hapa tumefanya kazi nzuri sana ya kukileta chuo hiki hapa na ni matumaini yangu kwamba vyuo vingine vingi vitafata lakini kwa ubora hiki ni chuo ambacho ni bora sana duniani lakini kama walivyosema walionitangulia kuhusu uharaka wa kuanzisha chuo hiki mwezi wa Julai ndio tulisign MOU leo mwanzoni mwa Novemba wanafunzi wameshaanza kwa wanaojua uanzishaji wa vyuo vikuu 
jambo hili halijapata kutokea lakini hii ndio speed ya mambo yanapokwenda hapa Zanzibar ukipata tabu ya kuanzisha chochote duniani we njoo Zanzibar sisi hapa tuna kasi ya aina yake naona mheshimiwa hapa anasema 5G <laughs> Kwa kweli nimefarijika sana. Kwamba ndani ya miezi mitatu tumeweza kufanya yote haya na leo tunafungua hichi chua. Lakini kikubwa zaidi kabla sijafika hapa leo nilikwenda fumba kuangalia eneo lililotengwa kwa ajili ya campus ya kudumu. Zaidi ya eka mbili na hamsini Nataka ni kuhakikishieni. Kwamba kabla sijamaliza uongozi wangu katika serikali ya jamu, ya Zanzibar Ninataka tuwe na kampasi ya kisasa pale fumbo. Nitapenda tupate ushirikiano wa serikali ya India lakini kama nchi tutahakikisha sisi wenyewe tunawekeza vya kutosha ili tuwe tuna, tuna campus ya aina yake hapa Zanzibar. Shukrani kwa wote hususan serikali ya India ili jambo si dogo ndugu zangu IIT Madras hawajawahi kuanzisha kampasi nje ya India kwa hivyo ukiambiwa nchi ya kwanza waliokwenda kutoka India ni Zanzibar hili ni jambo kubwa tunawashukuru tunawapongeza Nataka tuna, nataka niseme kwamba hatutoangusha serikali itasimama kuhakikisha hichi chuo kinakuwa bora kama kampasi nyingine zote walizokuwa nazo kule India au zaidi. Nimshukuru mheshimiwa balozi kwa kweli kajitoa sana. Kajitahidi sana. Kalisimamia jambo hili sana. Asante sana mheshimiwa balozi. Kama ulivyosema katika hotuba yako kwamba moja ya achievement zako katika diplomatic career yako ni uwazishaji wa chuo hiki na mimi nataka niseme hata katika achievement za presidency yangu ni chuo hiki mwisho ni washukuru sana steering committee Tuki, tukizungumza miezi mitatu kazi hiyo imefanywa na steering committee na wapongeza sana. Walikuja kwangu wakaniambia mkitaka kufanya utekelezaji wa jambo hili ufuate sheria ya manunuzi ya umma hatufiki. Na kweli maana leo tungekuwa ndo kwanza tunatafuta mshauri elekezi. Nikatoa kibali nikasema serikali itatoa fedha tutakupeni fedha nunueni popote kuanzia sasa ndani ya miezi mitatu tufungue chuo kwa hivyo ninataka nimwambie CAG nimwambie Zaeka niwaambie wote kibali cha kuyafanya haya nimetoa mie Na tusipofanya hivi ndugu zangu hadithi zitakuwa nyingi mwaka mzima watu tunahangaika na utaratibu mchakato mambo ambayo hayaishi maswala ya utaratibu na michakato yawepo lakini kwa spidi ya aina yake Zanzibar tunataka watu wakija kuwekeza baada muda mfupi wao wamepata kila kitu cha kuwekeza baada ya kusema hayo sasa napenda kutamka kwa kampasi ya taasisi ya IIT Madras hapa Zanzibar imezinduliwa rasmi asante sana kwa kusikia asante sana uh, mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi
Mheshimiwa Mgeni Rasmi uh, najua umeshatamka lakini kuna kitendo cha kufanya hapa uh, cha kuashiria uzinduzi rasmi wa kampasi hii. Nitakuomba uh, kwa hisani yako ubonyeze hicho kitufe hapa kwa nguvu kidogo ili tuweze kuashiria kuzindua rasmi. Yeah. Makofi jamani. Asante sana mheshimiwa. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, you may be seated. Asante uh, sana na shughuli ambayo itafuata sasa hivi Mheshimiwa Mgeni Rasmi kwa ridha yako nitaomba ukabidhi vieti kwa secretariat ambayo imefanikisha uh, shughuli hii. Na ningeomba tu uh, jipange kwa ajili ya utaratibu huo Mheshimiwa Mgeni Rasmi kwa ridha yako utakapokuwa tayari nitakuomba tena usimame ili tuweze kutoa uh, uweze kukabidhi vieti kwa secretariat ambayo imeweza kufanikisha jambo hili la kihistoria kabisa na ningeomba uh, wana secretariat mkae stand by kabisa ili kuweza kuja kukabidhiwa ni tuanze na dr Mohamed Adam Amir tafadhal Professor Ramamurthy, please, if you can, for a certificate. Thank you very much. <laughs> Professor Ragunathan Rengasami, please. Makofi Jamani kwa hilo kamati ambayo imefanikisha jambo letu hili leo <laughs> Professor Priti Agalayam kurugenzi wetu wa chuo huyu kurugenzi mtendaji makofi Professor Liji Philip. <laughs> Dr. Mahmoud Abdul Wahab Alawi, the father, Makofi Jamani, and Omajembe Zanzibar. Bona Idi Ali Idi And last but not least Mr Abdul Rahman Ali Hassan <laughs> Before you sit, Your uh, Excellency, we would, uh, our the India High Commissioner to Tanzania will uh, hand over a gift. There's two actually. Makot.
zawadi mbili hizo kutoka India na kutakuwa na zawadi nyingine hapa ambayo itatolewa na Professor Priti ambaye atapewa First Lady uh, Professor if you can please uh, just come uh, across and hand over a gift to uh, the First Lady Asante sana makofi mengi tafadhali mheshimiwa naomba tukae. Asante sana. Uh, nichukue muda huu pia ku uh, acknowledge the presence of representatives from the Ministry of Education led by uh, Madam Janet Museveni. Uh, they are here from Uganda. Asanteni sana, karibuni sana. If you could wave please representatives from Uganda. Hao hapa wametoka Uganda majirani zetu wamekuja kumwakilisha waziri wa elimu wa uh, Uganda. So what we're going to do now is a photo session. I believe the chairs have been removed at the back. Uh, what we're going to do is wa utaratibu ni kuwa utakuja na utapita hapa na kushuka upande kule baada ya kupiga picha. Na picha ya kwanza upiga picha mko wapi? Nadhani tutaanza na picha hii ya high table. Halafu uh, nitaomba mawaziri, manaibu wa mawaziri, makatibu wakuu na wakurugenzi ndio mtakuwa watu wa kwanza baada ya picha hii ya meza kuu itakapokamilika tafadhali sana and then after that i would like to later on after the cabinet ministers uh, ambassadors and high commissioners please who are here uh, present here today and uh, the last ones and probably not the least uh, representatives from uh, PBZ and CRDB Asanteni sana naomba uh, mawaziri wote tuliopo hapa manaibu mawaziri wakurugenzi uh, wa taasisi mbalimbali na makatibu wa kuta fadhali mawaziri manaibu mawaziri wakurugenzi Okay, uh, we will we can do it in two sessions. Tafadhali, naomba tu ambao tujapanda kwenye meza kuu. Asanteni sana jamani, naomba tushukie upande wa kule. Na waliosalia, naomba tupande kwenye uh, jukwaa tafadhali. Asante sana na naomba uh, uh, former CG tafadhali kwa hisani yako Musa Asad pamoja na uh, Deputy Education Minister hapana uh, uh, former Chief Secretary Abdul Hamad mzee tafadhali naomba pande juu na nyinyi mweze kupata picha
Naomba wajumbe wa ukimaliza Wajumbe wa bodi tafadhali Wajumbe wa bodi board members for IITM tafadhali Asante sana tunomba uh, mabalozi ambassadors high commissioners and uh, representatives of any international organizations please uh, step forward and take a photo with the president tafadhali Asante sana wakuu wa vyo vikuu uh, oh, vyo vikuu au uh, wakilishi wa vyo vikuu tafadhali Thank you very much Asanteni sana jamani naomba tushukie kule and I'd like to invite uh, the representatives from Uganda uh, salams any other foreign representative apart from the ambassadors who have been up here Thank you very much professors uh, lecturers iitm
Asante sana tunaomba wafanyakazi wa chuo hapa Zanzibar wa uh, campus ya Zanzibar tafadhali tunaomba tupande juu halafu uh, wanafunzi mkae stand by Asante sana uh, wabunge na, wakili, uh, na madiwani wabunge wa baraza la wakilishi Masheha naomba madiwani vile vile tujumuike hapa na wazee wa leo tafadhali serikali za mitaa madiwani na wazee wetu wa eneo hili wale wawakilishi wa PBZ ambao wamefungua wameweka ATM hapa tumeambiwa naomba msogee karibu Eight, uh, PBZ na CRDP tafadhali mje kusimama karibu na mimi hapa Asanteni sana na shukuru sana wawakilishi wa PBZ waliofuweka ATM na CRDB mko wapi? Hmm? Wako standby. CRDB PBZ. Okay. Suppliers and contractors wale suppliers ambao walifanikisha hili. Naomba mkae standby kwenye mambo ya ujenzi wa chuo hiki ambacho kimekwenda kwa kasi ya 5G Naomba mji kusimama na mimi hapa watakaposhuka tu uh, benki zetu mtaingia Suppliers from India Suppliers and engineers from India if there are here any Ah oh, nice This way please Naomba mshikie kule All right Thank you very much Hi, suppliers and engineers. Students, please come and stand behind me. This way. Thank you very much. Asante sana. Naomba wanafunzi sasa. Students please. Okay. We're going to have to do it in two bits. So. Uh, Wanaingia wote. Ngoja ngoja wapige mbili. That's all right. That's enough. I don't know. Naomba wengine washuke. Ready? Thank you. Thank you that way, please. I'd also like to invite uh, the delegation from uh, uh, the India High Commission. And any delegate from India, please be on standby.
Thank you very much. That way, please, off the stage and yeah, delegates from India. Secretariat, number of guys stand by. Nani? I'm the picture. Picture. Nani? I'm the picture. Picture. Na na moshmo am gini rasmi. Lakini zavieti tu. I'm the picture. Picture. Pamoja. He must be very proud of you guys. Thank you very much, steering, steering committee, uh, steering committee. Uh, so this is the team that uh, made this dream happen. Yeah. Steering committee, Karibu Nisana. Karibu ni sana. Na picha ya mwisho tafadhali itakuwa ni kutoka kwa uh, vyombo vyetu vya ulinzi na usalama. Thank you very much. Asante ni sana. Haya wanafunzi wa vio vikuu tafadhali nimedokezwa hapa mpo hapa vio vingine mbalimbali mbali. tafadhali joni haraka haraka kabisa tumalize shughuli hii ya upigaji picha najua list ni ndefu sana mheshimiwa nashukuru sana really appreciate for your patience Alright, asante ni sana. Hii ya mwisho mwisho kabisa ni mabaya kuna investors kutoka India. Investors from India. Investors and businessmen. And women? Businessmen from India. Thank you very much. Nashukuru sana. Uh, thank you very much. Really appreciate. Mwishimu mgeni rasmi, uh, tumefika mwishu wa shuguli yetu. Ni iseme shukran sana. Uh, pole kwa kuweka kidogo hapa. Lakini ni kupe hongera kubwa sana. Kitu ambacho mekifanya hapa kusema kweli. It's unbelievable. Hongera sana. Na kabla ujendoka nama nipigi picha na wewe. Kindly stand up.